So I want to come back to Congress in a second, but you raise a very interesting point there, which is that there is a difference between what the EPA was set up to do, which is to deal with pollution on the one hand, and what it's being asked to do by the left, which is to regulate fossil fuel use and energy use and energy efficiency around CO2. And the left kind of bridges the divide between these two separate issues by talking about carbon pollution, as if carbon dioxide is a pollutant of the type that the EPA was set up to regulate, of the type that causes immediate local effects and that sort of thing. I mean, you saw that with Nancy Pelosi's response, I think, last week, where she was talking about all the people who are going to get sick and die because of all these pollutants that were suddenly going to be in the atmosphere. Do you think that right. the administration can do more to make that distinction clearer? Well, we need to. And look, I mean, the, the American people deserve this debate. They deserve this, this discussion because it is an orthodoxy. It's been an orthodoxy for the last several years. And and you, you, you have rightly stated it, uh, that the, the co-benefits, I mean, typically what people like the speaker or former speaker do, Speaker Pelosi and others, is they, they come in and say it's going to cause certain types of health conditions and cite asthma and those types of things. But what they're referring to is uh, pollutants that we regulate under the National Ambient Air Quality Standards Program, criteria pollutants, uh, SOX and NOx and particulate matter and ozone and other types of things. Uh, that, that that they then commingle the CO2 discussion with, and and that's where they come up with these these types of statements, which is uh, I think not very very transparent for the American people. You know what 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 the American people deserve I think is a is a true legitimate peer reviewed objective uh, transparent discussion about the, uh, CO2. And uh, you know there was a great article that was in the Wall Street Journal about a month or so uh, or so ago, Joel uh, called Red Team Blue Team. And uh, by Steve Coonan, uh, a scientist, I believe, at NYU. And he talked about the importance of having a red team of scientists and a blue team of scientists. And those scientists get in the room and asking, what do we know? What don't we know? And what risk does it pose to, you know, to, to health in the United States and the, and the world with respect to this issue of CO2? The American people need to have that type of honest, open discussion. And it's something that we hope to, to help provide uh, as part of our leadership. I saw that article and I, I remember him talking about creating an adversarial process around scientific questions where people could really have a contest of ideas and find out what the answers really were. But I want to come back to Congress.